Uh, hello everyone, I'm going to be switching out the AK rear sight leaf on my Zestava ZPAP M70. For this, you're going to need a few tools, but one thing that is nice to know is the rear sight leaf, this little guy that flips up, is actually the same for almost all AKM patterns. I, I don't think there's anything different unless you have like a RPK style, but I'm going to be removing this and replacing it with something I got, the Rifle Dynamics. It has um, curved edges on the side and a little bit wider of a peephole. So it's supposed to be much easier to get your uh, sights on target. What's also interesting to note about this one is it only goes from battle zero, I get it, battle zero, one, two, and 300 uh, meters. As opposed to most standard AK sights, as you'll see, most standard ones start at zero, which is the same thing as battle zero, and they'll go all the way up to um, one kilometer. But I mean, AKs are only spec'd out to shoot up to 300, anything more than that, and you're really pushing it. So the tools that we're going to need, a cloth rag, your replacement rear sight leaf, of course, a flathead screwdriver, a hammer, and something to catch the rear sight leaf when you take it off. I am going to be using a bag held by my lovely assistant, my wife. So, pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to get this guy and we're going to hit it right here. There's a little line right there in the middle. We're going to get our screwdriver. We're going to stick it right in that line like so. And we're going to apply a short burst of force down. And what that's going to do is this is going to eject this bad boy right here. It's going to launch it. So that's why uh, my wife is going to catch it with the bag. Do not just do it like that. That's why we have the cloth. You don't want to scratch up your gun. You don't want to, you know, slip and all of a sudden all the coating on your gun is, is completely gone. So put a rag over the sight. Make sure you find the sight where it is. Right? Put the screwdriver in the notch. Like so. Now, actually, I might not even need my wife. Yeah, make sure it's in. If I have the cloth over the whole thing, it should be okay. Wife, you can come hold the, the gun study for me. Thank you. So, find where it is. Right up there. I'm going to fold it twice just to make sure I don't scratch anything up. Apply a little bit of force. Did not come out. I saw another trick where you lift this up and put the cloth under and then fold it on top. So there's a little bit of room there. Now let's try this again. I may not be hitting it hard enough because I'm trying to not destroy anything. Interesting. All right, that should have done that. I felt it pop. So, something interesting is it kind of jams sideways, which is not good, but all that means is the little spring here needs to be pushed down underneath the rear sight leaf. And then this should be able to pop out like so. Unfortunately, as you can see, I did not use the cloth. And now there's a scratch underneath the spring. But that doesn't matter. It's just a little spring. Everything else is okay. So the one I purchased was the blemished version. So it didn't actually come with the little spring-loaded adjuster. So what I'm going to have to do is re um, remove the spring-loaded adjuster from the stock part. All you do to that 
is squeeze and just slide it down like you're adjusting the sight all the way off like so now this part's pretty important there's going to be ridges the ridges on one side no ridges on the other if you look closely at this it has a little clampy bit on one side you can see it one side is clamped and the other side is not those teeth in the spring here have to go on the same side as the teeth on here and make sure that the hole is facing up if the hole is facing down you're not going to be able to see out of your sights so compress the spring all the way might need to spin it a little bit get a flush compress the spring force that bad boy in there force it down and there you go I'm just going to put it back down to zero the teeth on this one are a little bit stronger than my other one this one has a very audible a very audible click whenever you lock it in place that's kind of nice actually because then you will really know if it's where it needs to be okay so to put it back on is kind of the exact opposite process we did before um, wife could you please come here and help again so this time I will use the claw because I don't want to scratch up anything else now just how it got stuck before it was the little leaf spring in here hold the stock straight please basically I'm going to depress sorry there's a leaf spring right here. You need to depress that straight down and make sure this is right set up. And basically, these little holes here on the top, you are going to just push it right in and it will go in. So, all right, I'm going to cut the video and come back once it's correct. All right, I got it in. Turns out I actually just uh, was not pushing hard enough. Uh, I don't know if it's just because it's new or if I've, you know, never changed the leaf, but that spring was in there really, really tight. But now it's good to go. Sights flip up, sights flip down, able to adjust perfectly fine. Maybe got one little nick on there, but you know, it's whatever. It's just a rear side leaf. Can't complain too much. So. That's it. These are the new rifle dynamics. This is the V2 sight. And again, the, uh, the things that make it different are the rounded, the rounded edges. So the tops here are rounded. And then the actual peep sight itself is like twice the width. Let me try and get the other one up so you guys can see. It's like twice the width. It's pretty easy to see there, yeah. So with that bigger width means your eye will be more easily able to focus on the front side post of the weapon. So there it is. Um, I got this replacement for 30 bucks, but I got the blemished one. And basically the blemishing is, I don't know if you, you can see it. It's so faint at the very, at the very front here. It has a tiny bit of little marks. But I can't even tell. So pretty much I got a $75 product for 30 bucks, And the only thing that's noticeable is the numbers aren't painted. You know, not a big deal. I can just go a little paint marker and do that myself if I really care. So there you go. How to replace rear leaf sights. I made it look much harder than it, uh, it should have been. But yeah, there you go.